Welcome to the bet list again. As promised in the last video, I'm going to show you how to put your ends on your cable. So that's the socket, that's the main the feed, uh, the socket that goes into the feed. So that's your socket that plugs into the pole. And this is your socket that plugs into your caravan. We can tell the difference because this is what we call a male socket because it's got open ends here and you can see that you can touch the pins on the female socket there you open the cover and you can't touch the pins and the reason they call male and female is because the male inserts into the female like that so that's why we call it male and female. So, how do we put them on the ends of the cable? So, first of all, on here, this is your socket, this is your main socket that goes into the pole. You've got a screw there and a screw there. So, I'm going to start my undoing said screws. quiet when I'm doing that, at least it's because I'm concentrating. I'm also going to put my reading glasses on so I can see what I'm doing proper. So once you've run the screws it pulls out. This, if you remember and I showed you how to put the 13 amp pin up plug on, this is your cable cord grip. So that's where your cable goes. So what I'm going to do now is grab the cable I'll move that over there out of the way and I'm going to put the cable on, I've already scraped obviously obviously because I've taken obviously because I've taken this off it's still stripped with the ends crimped up. So first of all what we've got to do is Taking this, making sure you don't lose your two little screws, and slide your wire through it, through the rubber grommet on the end. So, shove plenty through, then get your screws and your cable uh, clamp, and slacken them off a bit, because you need them to be slack so you can get the cable through. So pull it open and slide through the cable onto your, so it goes through the cable clamp. This is very important, otherwise you won't be able to put the cover on after. So it's got to go through there. So now what you're going to do is find your live, which On here, you've got your live terminal, which is here. And it's shown by live and positive. This one's your earth here. So by total deduction, because it's not actually written on, this one's your neutral. I think if you just look right there, you can just actually see a small minus. So that's your neutral. So that's where our wires are going to go. We'll start by in. Whereas on the 13 amp plug, I put the earth in first. On this one, I'm going to put either the neutral or the live in first. So making sure I've got it in the right hole. So I've got, yep, yeah, my neutral there. I'm going to unscrew the screws a little bit more so I can get the screws in. So if you're wondering what I'm look, just looking to wear, I've got Bex in helping me. Bex is rooting around the garage for something. 
Right, so that's our new front pin. Make sure they're nice and tight. One thing with electrics, you're doing an electric, you got your cable, you just screw your cable in. Always make sure you've got a tight connection because loose connections cause fires as well as electric shocks. So That's my live and my neutral in, and I'm going to put insert the earth, which I'll need to just thread it back through. Now, the earth goes into the earth, come into the earth. So the earth's in now, now we've got the earth in, what I want to do is just pull on the, on the cable just so it's taut but not tight and then screw our cable clamp up. Then we slide our lid up, line it, line the screws up with the screw holes there, oh and then what we nearly did, we nearly made the mistake because on your plug, you sort of where it plugs in, you see you've got the round bit at the bottom to guide it into the female socket. What you need to do then is make sure this bit here that sticks up on the cover is on the opposite side because when your cover flaps down, I'll show you after, I'll show you in a minute, it hooks onto that there. So I just screw it up. not going in, I can tell that's not going in, so it's not in line. You might just have to fiddle about with it so you get it to in line, that's got it now, that's, you'll know where it's doing when you've got it because it'll bite and tighten up and then the next side should just go in quite easily. So. that one on. So now what we've got to do is do the same with this one. What I was saying about that, that the bit that sticks down has not has to go on the opposite side to that is because when you pull that up there, you lid up and you plug it in like that, that clips onto that to keep them in situ. So that's why that has to go on the other side. So now I'm going to do the other side the same as the other without the two, without talking. I'll probably speed it up a little bit and uh, you can just watch me do it. So Again, we're going to take, I know I said I wasn't talking, but I am talking, pull the end off. Push 
way through. Push way through cable clamp. Leave cable clamp loose for the time being. Find your live being neutral and your earth. Now, because this is the other end, your live will be on the opposite side. So just be careful and make sure you get your live. So the live's there and neutral's there this time. So it's the opposite way around. But if you don't put them in the right terminals, you'll end up with cross polarity, which once we've connected it, well, um, I'll show you how just a quick check you can do in your caravan to make sure you haven't got cross polarity. struggling to line my two screws up. Like I said they have a bit of a struggle sometimes but you just got to make sure you get them lined up and then they do screw in. But they can be a pain. You saw how easy that side went on, that side was a bit more of a pain. So we've got our two ends that will now plug into one another. He says, and plug into one another like that. And well, they don't want to plug into one another, do they? No, when they don't, they will. What I want to do now is with them, is probably see I've got an adapter on mine. Mine's plugged in now via my 13 amp plug. So I can plug it into the caravan. So I'm already turned on. Well, you don't want to be turned on, so you want to make sure it's dead. So I'm going to go along here. And these all vary. So mine's got um, a mount that moves up and down. So you plug it into there. You lift that up and plug it in, just like I did with the other end. You've done that now, you've plugged us in, you've plugged in at that end and you've plugged in here, you've powered up, you've powered up, you've turned the fuse box on to me, so, so we've got power. We now need to make sure we haven't got reverse polarity and that's quite easy to do because all you need to do is have one of these little gadgets here and this is a plug tester and there's various different models of these uh, this is one of the three I have I've got a really cheap one uh, I've got this one and I've got a Martindale as usual this is the first one I come to so this is what I'm using but as you can see on here uh, there's lots of little red dots and black dots and these correspond with these lights here. If it lights up red on these lights, 
Lamp two there means we've got a correct polarity and everything's all right. Any other combinations means that um, we haven't got correct pellets or something's wrong. So let's go and plug it in and we'll see what happens. Right, so I've plugged it in and as you can see we've got the two little red lights on there. So that's telling me it's okay. A decent one of these will cost you around about £10 and it's well worth to have one, especially if you're travelling abroad because a lot of foreign campsites tend to have reverse polarity uh, so always handy to have one of these and the easiest way to reverse your polarity to match it is what, what I'd do is have a, I'd have a, a spur socket a spur lead with it wired up in reverse polarity uh, or a spur adapter wired back to front but if you haven't got one, what you need to do is just adjust your turn, move your live and neutral round in your socket outside, uh, and that'd give you, but on then one end, and that'd give you your right polarity. So, if you've liked the video, you found it helpful, give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done. And in the next video, I think I'm going to show you how to change a light switch. So, uh, that'll be the next video. Okay then, bye for now.